Uh, welcome back to Shop Garage Whatever. Guys, tonight we are working on the 89CR500. This is going to be the last video before the reveal. So, get pumped because I'm going to try, fingers crossed, to, to actually rev this thing up tonight. Obviously, it's uh, Monday right now for me, but it's Tuesday for you uh, or whatever day you're watching this. But it, either way, it's Monday for me, which means I missed my upload. So I just went live like a little bit ago because it's Monday. Did a little 12-minute live video just telling you guys what to look forward to on this thing. So now that you're here, welcome. If I haven't gotten your subscription already, I hope to earn that tonight because... Here on the channel, guys, we do a lot of 500 things. It's kind of our thing to do 500 things. Sure, it's not my only thing, and it's not the only channel on the internet that does 500 things, but um, it's my thing. It's one of my things. It's definitely one of my things. I got a lot of 500s, and um, I like to ride them. I like to build them to look freaking sweet, and most of the time I just sit and stare at them, but there is times that I like to ride them as well. If you're anything like me and you like to build dirt bikes or even just like 500s, this is the channel for you. So make sure you like and subscribe on this one as we get cracking in to the CR500. So this is 1989. If you guys are just watching this video for the first time, give you a little bit of backstory. So this is, again, a 1989 CR500 that we picked up for 600 bucks here locally on the Craigslist. Now, when we got it, the previous owner believed it had stator issues and he was kind of right. One of the wires was broken to the stator I resoldered that thing because that's a phonetic way you say that. <laughs> and then we threw it back together and it ran. So I, I was blown away. However, the engine, after running this bike at the Big Boar Attic's Sand Mountain 23 race, it was severely, severely underpowered con you know, in, in comparison with the other 500s that we we're going up the hill against. So I was like, okay, it's time to break this thing down, give it the proper restoration it deserves. And obviously um, we're halfway done we just got to start assembling things you know what i mean so guys i'm in a chipper mood because we got some really cool stuff to be putting on this bike tonight and i'm one of the things just showed up today and i'm super excited because it just kind of worked out but anyways we're going to get building on the rear shock right now we got this thing done in that sniper gray color and it looks stellar back on the bench behind me way to be there bench back on the bench behind me Got a brand new race tech spring. And I mean, I'm just saying right now, guys, the blue on top of that sniper gray is gonna look pretty stellar. Um, the sniper gray, if I had to liken it to another color, um, it's a very dark gray, but it shows up really nicely as a matte gray under, under lights. I'm excited about this. You guys are seeing it for the first time. I just teased my YouTube live about it. Now I can show you about it. Um, so this comes from our friends over at Smart Carb. Obviously, you guys know I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Smart Carbs. I got them on every bike that I own. But this, this, is, this is special, okay? I'm going to actually move the camera into some light here for this one. I'm just going to bang it on everything that I can. This is the new SE2 Kashima Coated. <laughs> yeah. And if you guys notice, there is a special new adjuster right here that is going to help tune in the fuel just right on this engine. Because, as you guys know, we, uh, we did the, the whole motor modification, sent that up to Canada to our buddy Adam Miller. He totally revamped all the porting on this thing to be pushing all the ponies. Um, so I do have a key and stick carb as well as this um, smart carb. So I wanna try both. I'm really excited to try this one, having this new adjuster on the back. I think it's gonna rip, but would you guys just look at it? I mean, it's gonna match our engine just right. So tonight I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get moving, okay? What are we at? Freaking all, a lot of minutes recording so far. I'm um, gonna get this on the bike. We're going to get the whole air system hooked up, get that rear shock rebuilt so we get the whole rear end together, um, and then exhaust. 
things of that sort, um, radiators, electrical. So let's freaking do it. I'm going to get a little ahead of you guys right now and just show you what the stuff looks like because oh, oh, I just, no, might, I might cut that part out. That was not, but oh, my beating heart. Oh, this thing is rad. Thank you, Smart Carb. Um, tons of videos out on the internet about the Smart Carb. If you guys don't know about them, it's a jetless carburetor, no jets. You never need to jet it. Um, they have the most amazing design. And no, it's not Electron. A lot of the guys have said, hey, isn't that just basically like another version of Electron? No, very, very different. Very, very different. Like Chevy and Ford, different, okay? Not same. Um, anyways, let's go. Okay guys, so I've shown it before, but this is my nitrogen setup. Um, this is just pure nitrogen. So I have, this is all kind of a homemade setup and it does work. So this is the first regulator and then I have a secondary regulator. So the first regulator is gonna bring it under 600 PSI from the cylinder. 600 PSI is a lot of PSIs. And then this one is going to reduce it to 150. I have it set so it does not let any more than 150 psi into the shock and we know we did a good job when this shaft comes out by itself so i do this slow because if any of these clips didn't sit in all this way this stuff is going to go full ejecto and it's scary when it does that so i'm going to watch the gauge here so there's a bleed so we're about at 100 We're gonna wait a second and just make sure that there's no leaks. One thing I can do is spray some uh, simple green or some degreaser around here, see if I got any bubbles, but because I have this active gauge on here and it's holding strong at 150 PSI. So this is a zero loss chuck. So what we do is we unscrew this and what it does is it slowly releases a valve stem and it decompresses the line. So it just let all the pressure out of the line, but we did not let any pressure out of here because if you use like say a press, a press on valve, whenever you let off, you know that sound, that's letting out pressure. So we use a zero loss um, adapter on here so we don't lose any of the pressure that's inside this bladder now, which is at 150 PSI, that's a lot of PSI. Let me go back and we do this, nice and smooth too. Pops right back up, she's ready to go. Ready to put on the spring. Get the, spring, get the spring on it, and we'll get this in the bike. And then airbox, electrical, cooling, fuel lines, cables, exhaust. Got a lot to do. Let's do it.
you know, it's a two stroke. It's easy, right? Yeah, no. Um, it's been routing issues, getting everything, you know, routed correctly so it doesn't interfere and I still need the, the proper little metal tie downs that are insulated to kind of get everything routed where it needs to go. But basically this is kind of it. So if you're seeing any dirty unfinished parts, hang on. Okay. You know, I'm just, I want, I want to hear it kick to life. So cooling systems all together, electrical systems all together, but I feel the need to put on maybe the old set of handlebars on this thing, just so I have a throttle and a kill switch in case something happens. I mean, the, the, it's carbs closing all the way. There's definitely no air leaks. I've already done a leak down on it and uh, we're good. So I, I don't expect anything will hang open, but you just never freaking know. What are we short? All right, so we gotta do exhaust. And right now the only one I have is a kind of a crappy pro circuit that we took off of it. I do have another pipe in line for it, but I do not own it yet. So let me get this down off camera. It's up in the rafters. <coughs> but we have this pro circuit. It's a pro circuit. So we can definitely put this thing on just for the, the fire over, right? Don't scratch my frame. I will, okay, good. I was gonna say, I will be very, very mean to you if you scratch my frame. Apparently this hair's been bent at one time because it definitely not does not go on without a little bit of a battle. So I think we'll run this pipe to fire it up. Um, it's just dented a lot, which is not my, it's not my jam with my peanut butter. Um, so I need to obviously bolt down the pipe nice and good. Uh, get the muffler on it so I don't blast my eardrums out. Put a tank on it, throw a seat on it. Um, oh, I need foot pegs because what am I going to stand on to start it? So I might as well just put on the old ones. I don't need to put any springs through it or anything, just the pin and the peg. Um, I really want to just start this thing for you guys tonight. That's said OEM bars and such right here. Um, throw that on just for the sake of having a throttle and a kill switch. Um, I'm stalling, yes I, yes I am, you're keen. I am stalling because, what time is it even? 8.48, I've been at this since uh, about, about 4.30, so. Yeah, um, pipe springs, muffler, if I could find it, it's around here somewhere. All right, gang. <laughs> well, she's uh, she's mostly assembled anyway, right? So I'm gonna lower it. I am. Uh, I'm excited. I want to hear this thing ping over. Obviously, I'm excited. I've done all this just to hear it run, right? So I'm gonna put you in a good spot where you can hear that exhaust crackle of life. Um, I am just. Really, really excited. So one of the things that obviously I already stated that I am very eh, aware of is the uh, fuel situation. The, so I am not gonna run it long at all, but uh, I'm gonna put the camera further back on a tripod and let's do this. All right. Fuel's on, engine oil in, coolant in. No leaks, which is always a really, really good thing. I am severely scared that this thing's gonna flip backwards when I'm kicking it. So I'm gonna put the rear end up on the stool here. Kind of give me a little bit more leverage. Yep, we got full open and close on the throttle, kill switch is on. I don't see any other reason why we shouldn't do this, right? Right? Let's do it. Let me, uh, actually, I'm going to set up, I'm going to set my cell phone too. On, first fire on the Honda, CR500, Millar engine, 
Wish me luck. I'm gonna try this in regular, kind of like hiking boots. If that don't work, we will uh, we will put on some riding boots. Doing some priming kicks. Holy mackerel! Are you kidding me? Thing expecting that much compression. I knew it was going to be high, <laughs> but excited about so like i said we're just running uh pump gas on this thing so don't want to run it long i want to get a little heat into it and get some oil into the cylinder and bearings anyway but yeah baby oh she sounds mean that throttle response is right now so let's see am i shaking a little bit a little bit shaking it just that's exciting, you know, guys. You put in that much work into something, and you want it to you want it to work. You want it to you want it to run. So, boys and girls, but this is the last time you're ever gonna see it like this. We're gonna get that front end on, and we're gonna finish this thing up the way it is. But there, you kind of see that sniper gray a little bit better now. Yeah, it's a nice, nice color. I dig it a lot. Don't know if I love the clutch cover in combination with it. I feel like it's kind of drowned out, but we'll we'll run it to see how long the air coating lasts anyways. But yeah, guys, let's go. Well, there we freaking go, guys. Boys and gargoyles, or girls and gargoyles, it depends on your situation. <laughs> uh, we got a good runner, as I thought we would. It's fantastic. I'm beyond stoked, but... I got to pull it back down from where you see it now. Finish routing with the proper cable guides and everything and uh, get the front end on, uh, get the front wheel made. Um, and then do the, the adaptation to the front end. Um, we got a new seat cover from Guts to wrap on the seat. Um, this thing's gonna be a, a motocross weapon. Um, and obviously we're gonna race the balls off this thing at Sand Mountain too, but I am thoroughly curious how much compression this thing has because that is like, I could tell that Kickstarter gear, <laughs> I might replace that sooner than later just because it had kind of a little sound to it right after you hit the very bottom of the stroke. It kind of had a little bit of a tick to it or, I don't know, a crunch. I didn't like it. <laughs> I did, uh, to be fair, when it was previously, before it got rebuilt, it did that. It's I think it has to do with when, when you kick down, the ratchet skips um, at the very bottom of the stroke, 
but it's not, I don't think it's long for this world and I don't want to destroy this motor. So I'm probably going to go ahead and order, see if I can order some Kickstarter parts. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked it. The pipe's nice and warm. I uh, hope you liked the video, guys. Uh, said in the beginning, make sure you're liked, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're liked. Make sure if you like it, you like it. Um, if I earned your subscription today, I appreciate it. Thanks for joining the London X crew here in the shop garage, whatever, where we build big boards and ride them occasionally. Most of the time, just look at them. But we're going to get this thing to be one hell of a looker. So stay tuned, guys. Love every single one of you. We'll see you on next Monday's video. Actually, rewind. I might skip next Monday. We'll see. I got my brother coming up in town, and he's bringing that KX250 we never finished. So we might finish it. Might need to wait till next Monday. Make sure you click that little bell icon so you know if I popped up a video or not. If you mix, miss, missed, if you missed this video right here, make sure you click on that and check it out because it'll get you up to speed on the things you need to know here at the shop garage or whatever. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys. Whew. I'm just going to look at it now because it's done. <laughs>